in today's In the Garden. No tilling and virtually no weeding. It's true. A Robbinsdale gardener is using a creative method to get the most out of her garden. Reporter Sonia Goins goes In the Garden to show us how. say, wow, that's really cool. You can't help but to notice Priscilla Watson's garden. It's the corner house with the magnificent greenery and blooms. Yeah. Several years ago, Priscilla planted two plots. Look how pretty they are. They're kind of roughly. Using the so-called lasagna gardening method. It's not difficult. Here's how it works. You basically add layers of organic materials that will cook down over time. You can put layers of things like peat moss and leaves and, you know, grass clippings. That helps to create good soil that will allow your plants to thrive. So this is actually how it all starts. We were there in 2015 when she was just getting started. Layers of newspapers all wet, just completely cover the ground, make sure they're really good and wet. She chose this method because she didn't want to go through the trouble of digging up her yard. There's a lot of clay. It's just, it's hard. It, when it gets dry, it just gets like a rock. You can't do anything with it. Over the years, the gardens transformed into lavish landscapes. It's really come along, hasn't it? With irises, lavender, sedum, and some unique flowers, too. These are some of my favorite plants. These are called cup plants. When it rains, water sits in here, so birds and pollinators can come and drink from it. And this plant will make you do a double take. It's called a uh, goosehead loose strife because the flower heads look kind of like goose heads. Priscilla says lasagna gardening is not difficult and she encourages others to give it a try. You just realize that, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be good enough for who it's for. In Robbinsdale, Sonia Goins, CCX News. Priscilla is a member of the Robbinsdale Diggers Garden Club, and she says the other nice thing about using the lasagna method is that there are hardly any weeds because the newspaper prevents them from growing.